In this video, we will learn the Forcing Tags feature. You are going to use a force to override data that your logic either uses or produces. For example, use forces to test and debug your logic. Check wiring to an output device or temporarily keep your process functioning when an input device has failed. Use forces only as a temporary measure. They are not intended to be a permanent part of your application. When you use forces, take these precautions. Forcing can cause unexpected machine motion that could injure personnel. Before you use a force, determine how the force affects your machine or process and keep personnel away from the machine area. So consider the following. Enabling I.O. forces causes input, output, produced or consumed values to change. Enabling SFC forces causes your machine or process to go to a different state or phase. Removing forces may still leave forces in the enabled state. If forces are enabled and you install a force, the new force immediately takes effect. The force status menu is located next to the controller menu. By clicking the force menu, we can see that it is also possible to use SFC programs. You must click Enable Forces for a force to take effect. You can only enable and disable forces at the controller level. And you can only enable I.O. forces and SFC forces separately or at the same time. Remember also that you cannot enable or disable forces for a specific module, tag collection, or tag element. We are going to work now on this self-holding logic to demonstrate the forcing feature. Let's start by forcing to 1 the start boolean tag, which is alias to a digital input. Right-clicking on the tag, Logic Designer offers the chance to force on or off. To force this tag to 1, we choose force on. The force is now set. We can see from the status LED of the controller that a force is set, but it is not active yet. The force LED light is now flashing. The last step is to enable the force. Go back to the force menu and under I.O. Forcing select Enable All I.O. Forces. To activate the force click Yes. The play sign next to the On label informs us the force is now active in the controller. Regardless, the real value of the digital input 0, the start tag value, is now forced to 1. From the controller lights we can also see that the forcing LED is now solid. To disable this force, go back to the force menu and click Disable All I.O. Forces. When the confirmation window is prompted, click Yes. Please be aware that the forces are still set. If we want to remove all of our forces, go back to the force menu and click Remove I.O. Forces. We just saw how to force a digital input channel. The next example is about how to force a tag which is alias to a digital output channel. Let's force off the motor tag. The procedure is identical. We need to this time click force off to enable the forces from the force menu. Forcing an output or produce tag overrides the logic for the physical device or other controller. Other controllers monitoring that output module in a listen-only capacity, also see the forced value.